Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Decryption and I hope you are well. In my current game here that I use for all the tutorials, these two NPCs in front of you can both give you quests, but you've got zero knowledge that they can actually give you quests. So I figured now would be a perfect time to add quest markers, something above their head, an arrow, an exclamation mark, something to indicate that they have a quest you can have. And it's super simple to do. So the first thing you're going to need is some form of model that you want to use. In my case I have access to the polygon icons pack I'm going to use this red exclamation mark to say new quest and um, you can use anything you want theoretically all you need is a sphere and a, a rectangle to create an exclamation mark or you can use a 2d texture you can use anything you want so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on my NPC and I'm going to go into their class so there's our NPC but my NPC is special because he's got a parent NPC so I'm going to jump into there but basically jump to wherever you want to put exclamation mark so in here I'm going to come in and I'm going to add a static mesh into this blueprint and you can see here I've already got the exclamation mark clicked so I can tap it and it will automatically add it so I can drag this up and position it there it's a little bit small so I'm going to increase the size yeah I think that looks good maybe a little on the big side but it does work one other thing I'm going to come in and do and this is optional for you is I'm going to disable the shadow because it'll just give us a little bit more performance back one thing you need to make sure you do make sure you disable the collision because it'd just be weird if it has collision and I'm going to disable the overlap events as well and I'm going to disable the navigation because it'll speed it all up all things we don't need I'm also going to start with tick enabled off because we don't need the tick turned on and then we can complete it there we are now every single NPC has it above but we only need the ones with quest to have it so what I'm going to do is I'm going to disable it by default so I'm just going to come in and tick hidden in game and I'm also going to untick visible so it's still there it's just invisible at the moment like so so now we're back to where we were so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new function called trigger quest marker and on here I need to add an input to it and it'll be a type of boolean called hidden and then I can drag our quest marker out and I'm going to drag from my quest marker and do set hidden in game and then if the hidden is true then it will hide it otherwise it will show our quest marker just like that and now all of these don't have it and because I want these to have it on game load I'm going to tap on them I'm going to find the quest marker and I'm going to manually overwrite the hidden in game just for these NPCs. I'm going to untick the actor hidden in game and the visibility just so they're both visible and I'm going to do the same for this actor over here because I know she also has a quest. I'm going to tick the visible and I'm going to untick the hidden in game like so. So now these two will have a quest marker by default and now you can see when we're in the game you can see the quest markers floating above their head. Perfect. So when we accept the quest that they're giving us we need to hide that quest marker. So what I'm going to do is we're going to open our content drawer and I'm going to go into blueprints narrative event and I'm going to create a new custom event here and I'm going to call this any trigger quest marker I'm going to execute the event and I'm going to drag from the exec pin and I'm going to do get get all actors of class with tag the actor class will be my BP NPC and the tag I will promote to a variable from the out actors I can for each loop over them all and I can drag from the array element and I can do trigger quest marker connect it up and for the hidden I'm just going to promote it to a variable and then from the completed I can plug it into the return node here make sure you tick the two eyeballs on the variables we've added and then the final thing is to overwrite the get graph display text function and I will drag off from the return value and I will do append and we will say set tags quest marker to true or false so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the dialogue of this individual here and where he first gives us a quest here where he begins the quest I'm going to add our new custom event of trigger quest marker I'm going to set the hidden to be true because we don't want it visible at this point and then I'm going to grab his tag and I'm going to set him to the correct tag and then I'm going to bring the tag into here like so and that'll hide his quest marker and then when we need to speak to him again when he gives us the quest mercenaries duty in here we come in we kill the bandits and then we need to go and talk to him again so just on the state before we have to talk to him I'm going to add the event to trigger the quest marker again and then I'm going to untick the hidden this time to make it visible and then we can successfully come and try it so you will see now he's got a quest marker if I speak to him he will say do you, re do you require any services I say I have one task there's a group of bandits go and kill them and I'll say I'll take it his quest marker disappears I can come to the bandit camp there are the bandits there the five bandits stood there from the previous tutorial and I can come over I can kill them all and it'll say report back to Sextus and when I get back up there you can see his quest marker has reappeared because we need to talk to him and we can say I have taken care of 
the bandits and it'll say fantastic there we go and because i've completed that dialogue we also now need to come in and we need to hide it i've taken care of the bandits oh that's fantastic news and because i know i've already got another quest on there i can leave it active but on the other quest when we come down we can just disable it just like before so there we go and that ladies and gentlemen is how you do a really basic quest marker system for narrative so all it is a little static model that sits above the npc a function to hide or show it a narrative event to actually control it and that's it then you just plug it in as and when you need it it works perfect for my game apocalypse express link in the description if you enjoyed this tutorial please like comment and subscribe and i will see you next time